What is happening guys? Welcome back. So, yet again, another episode on the Mark 1 Golf. Got a couple of little bits I want to get done in this video. One of them being, we want to get the new pedal box installed. So, in the episode where we started, where we shaved the bay, I said that I was going to cut all of this bracket and stuff off here, and we've welded up all the holes for the brake master cylinder and everything like that, and the servo and everything that was mounted on the bulkhead, because we want to keep the engine bay nice and clean. So, what I've got is a new pedal box here, which has got three spaces for master cylinders, one for the front brakes, one for the rear brakes, and one for the clutch. We've also got a mounting for the new fly-by-wire or drive-by-wire throttle to go as well. So this bolts up into the car, two bolts there, two bolts there through the bulkhead, which are those two holes there through the bulkhead, and these two fixings here, up on the steering column. So I've just offered it in the car and what we've got to do is we've got to cut this off here, which was, I believe, for the throttle pedal originally. So we're going to cut this off and then we've also got to cut this off as well because this is in the way. And then we'll bolt it through the bulkhead, bolt it through here and that should be that mounted into the car. So, two bolts through the bulkhead, bolt it on where the original column bolted to, but you obviously have the hole in the middle for the uh, rod to come through for the brake pedal. And then there it is, fitted into the car, looking pretty trick. So, we had to remove um, the throttle pedal bracket, which is the remnants of there, you can see here on the bulkhead. We had to remove this bracket here, which was under here, to allow that to go up. And we then had to remove this here, which was up here on the back, to allow space for the cylinders to go in. And it bolts up here onto this bracket here. We've got the throttle pedal mounted on as well. Now, I'm not 100% sure this is the correct one. It's the code that I was told. But if you look at how high that is, it's very, very uncomfortable. And it doesn't really push down very much. So I'm gonna have to have a word with him about that because I'm not 100% sure. I'm steering does what it needs to do, turns and all that jazz. So yeah, that's that in. So we need to work out what cylinders that we need um, and then work out where we're gonna put brake lines, etc. I think we're gonna put the brakes, the reservoirs in there out of the way and then we'll get a cover for that so it's all nice and neat and clean. But yeah, we need to work out cylinders, but before we do that, we need to work out what brakes we're gonna use so we can then work out the right cylinder for them. But that is as much as I really wanted to do for that. For now, it's in, I know it fits, I know everything's cut out that needs to, I can tidy all that lot, get the interior then ready for paint. So, next thing that I wanted to just jump onto, this time, because I'm trying to focus on getting sort of the engine bay and the underside and the wheel arches done so we can get them seam sealed and then get them uh, Gravitex and yeah, ready for paint. I want to try and get that one done before Christmas. Anyway. Right, next thing we're going to do, waffling on. What next thing we're going to do is this radiator. So originally we'd got these mounts that we'd made here and here. Now, this, where these are, dipped in before, which is why that one's so short. Um, but now we've smoothed all this off. I purposely did it, so I've got a bit more land. So we now want to make this so that it's bigger and we've got a better fixing to hold that in place. Make that one that side because that followed a contour and we don't need that anymore. I want to make a nice new one. And then I want to make a sort of panel that's going to close the top of the radiator off because it's not the nicest looking radiator. So I've got some steel laid out. I'm going to cut ourselves a piece of that out. I think we're going to fabricate the shroud first. Then we'll fabricate the brackets and we can work out exactly how it's all going to fit together. So yeah, well, let's get on with it.
There we go, shroud panel made. Literally just a piece of metal bent with 90 degrees that side and whatever that is there. This is then gonna sit. Somewhere there like that, just to hide the top of the radiator. Um, just so it looks a bit nicer. Um, and then we've got to work out now how we're going to fix the radiator on, this on, make it all work. Shroud to cover the top of the radiator that I think looks just just tidies it up a little bit. Now the original plan was going to be this was going to come all the way along here and all the way along here, and we're going to integrate the mounts into this. But looking at it, and I didn't like the fact that to do that it had got to be up here and sort of flush to this top bit, which meant that you had a weird step detail here. I've ended up making that separate piece and then making two new brackets. So. That one there looks much better. That one, that end. These little rounds, it just tidies it up no end. I need to put some rounds on these corners still. But the way that this is mounted, you see the heat there, I've basically, under here, still needs tidying up after we've welded all this on. Um, but basically all I've done is welded a stud to the back edge downturn. If you can see, that there's a downturn there. I've welded a, a bolt, basically, a thread to the back of that. There and there. And then it just pushes in and bolts on. Nice and neat, no fixings visible. I think that just sort of finishes off and tidies that up. So it's literally just a piece of one mil steel, 90 degree fold there, some shallower fold there, um, with two studs welded to it that then bolts through the front panel. Brackets are in, brackets are on, and radiator is nice and solid. So another little bit done. Um, still got plenty to do, don't you worry. The content's still gonna keep coming. Um, I need to sit down now and really write a list out of what needs doing um, to the car um, to try and hit my target of having it seam sealed and under sealed by Christmas, um, which I'm still, fingers crossed, thinking is still going to be achievable. Um, but yeah, I really need to sit down now and figure out and write a list of all these little bits and bobs that I need to do in the car, out the car, that means that there's no good, not going to have to be any welding when it's been under sealed or whatever. So yeah, another one done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've not already, subscribe to find out what we're going to get up to next time. But yeah, until next time, guys, enjoy.